Hey everybody, this is Jim of Animated Educated. Today you're going to meet uh, Psycho-san, and he has a new uh, project that he's uh, has a Kickstarter for, for called Blue, and uh, he's talking to us from Buenos Aires, all the way from Buenos Aires, so we get to see that beautiful background of Buenos Aires. It's beautiful. Look oh at my that. god, I'm sorry, hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's back there? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah it's, no, if if I put the background, it, I mean, it's actually it's not it's not that great to be fair. It's just some buildings, and uh, yeah, but, yeah. Well, oh, of course, that I was thinking of putting a picture of like maybe a background for my project, but uh, uh, this this app would not allow me to to upload. So this short film that I'm hoping to to to, to fund with Kickstarter would be. Kind of like a proof concept for a bigger project if if it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't happen, I'll see. I'll, I'll decide what I do if if the Kickstarter is not successful. But um, but that would be uh, that would be a great thing. This Kickstarter will allow me to for a change to not work on this on my own. Uh, I will be able to put a little team together. I've got a scriptwriter I want to bring on board. Uh, the this guy is called Mathieu René, and he's a he's a French comic book artist. He's extremely talented. Uh, he's done. He's got a long career of comic book writing and uh, drawing. I didn't know him. I discovered his work online because he's released recently a new comic book, and it has similar themes to what I'm doing. So uh, when I saw what he was doing, that I was interested. I looked into it, and so because we have similar interests, uh, it's it, it attracted me to his work. Not, not only that, but what's interesting as well is that I think he's a bit more his his vision of the future and the use of AI is probably uh, less optimistic than mine. And he's a bit more uh, sort of uh, suspicious of it all. And I think it's interesting because that will create a discussion as we're writing the story and trying to uh, to decide where we take, take things. Um, having this different angle, I think, will be, uh, will be a plus. I saw your Kickstarter campaign for Blue, and uh, it's out right now. And it is. Yeah. So if you want to talk about that. But this project, I put it together because uh, it brings together some of the topics that I typically like. Uh, so I have a background in engineering and science. And uh, I, you know, I studied architecture and, and engineering. So uh, I've always had an interest in that. And obviously, a lot of things are happening at the moment that are very interesting in the world of science, particularly AI. So I'm interested in that as well. And I wanted to bring that together with uh, my love of animation and, and make a short story around this, this topic. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's great because uh, with so many questions come from it, you know, um, it's, uh, it's been a topic for however long in the, in the, the science fiction literature. Uh, we've been talking about AI for a long time and, uh, you know, in all sorts of ways, usually scary ones. And um, uh, I'm more of an optimistic person and I, I can see some good in, in AI. Uh, obviously, there's, it's going to be, uh, it can be used for bad things for sure, or it can, it can be very disruptive in many ways. Uh, but uh, I, so my story tries to, to explore both sides of, of the idea, right? To try to, uh, uh, just give a voice to, to the concerns of some people about AI and uh, and at the same time say, hey, this is all the good things that could come out of it if we, if we use it properly. Um, so the story the story follows a group of students and they, they would enter a, a, a competition. Uh, so some schools do that. Uh, they, they have these uh, interesting competition between schools, international competitions, where they, they sort of go head to head with their skills to build robots of all sorts of kinds and these sort of things. So this is uh, the same idea, but in this case, they have to build an AI and there's like different levels that they have to, to go through. Um, and this, it's an elimination process. So it's a tournament and uh, they have to, they have to do better and better AI work. Uh, so as the year goes by, they improve the design of their character. It starts with a simple robot and it becomes some sort of a fully fledged uh, Android, and that's that's blue. That's the character they call blue. And um, so I wanted to have these kinds of characters, kind of going with the the with the idea that AI could be a good thing. 
And on the other hand, um, I portray, uh, let's say, the dangerous side of AI through um, through essentially what we can see today, you know, a big corporation um, using AI for, for profit and not thinking about the consequences of that, you know, or, or what they're doing with it. And there's a lot of controversy going, going on already. So I have characters like this, you know, sort of um, tech tycoons, uh, kind of driven by uh, by making money, and a, a group of students who just are passionate about the idea and want to change the world and, and make a difference. Uh, and this is this is where the tension is going to happen. We we both work at a place called uh, CG Spectrum, where we do an online teaching of people that right. come in. Yeah, this is uh, this is how we met um, through the CG Spectrum and. Um, yeah, it's something I love to do. Is teaching is fun. It's passing on some knowledge. Uh, I find it exciting, and I'm quite happy to do that. We've been doing this about a year and a half uh, with you and everyone else. Uh, yeah, so we can still learn how to do animation uh, today online from home. Isn't that a great thing? So when is when is your campaign finished? I mean, when do people have to you know get their donations in there before you know? So yeah, it will finish by uh, the end of this month, March the 31st. Uh, and uh, so I think it'll be a Sunday. Uh, yeah, so I know that usually things kind of pick up at the end, but I'd say, you know, no need to wait for the last second. If you like the project, uh, you can support it right now. You can you can change your mind or you can change the reward uh, at the end. Uh, but um, anyway, so yeah, connect also to my Instagram to get regular updates. Uh, this is where I'm most active. So um, yeah, I hope to see you there. Yeah, if you're interested in in learning more about this project and you want to support it, look at his uh, uh, Kickstarter campaign. Don't delay. Don't wait till last second. Donate right now, <laughs> and tell him you know animated educated sent you. Find out how many people donate. I'm curious how many people even just... watch this show. So you know, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I hope I hope this helps, and I hope you, you know, whatever happens, I hope you finish, you know, get your your money that you can get to to finish this thing and and start working on it right away. So yeah, yeah, I hope thanks. so. I hope so. It's... Yeah. Well, thanks again. Second time, maybe third time, when you can come back when it's all done and we can talk about it and you can show even more. So I'd love to do that, Jim. That'd be great. Right. Thanks a lot. I really enjoy these interviews. So I'll see you around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that episode with Psychosan and learning all about his uh, Kickstarter project, which you can help fund. Uh, I'm going to leave a link below and you can check that out. Um, but yeah. Uh, and if you enjoyed this episode in any way, you can press that button right there to subscribe, or you can take a look at these videos here. And we'll see you next time on Animated Educated.